Five, wow, six, look seven, it eight, nine. Right. Much can be now, Joey. Joey. You can't push the kid. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Chef, got a match? <laughs> Mighty nice day. Oh, say, Sheriff, my friend and me were wondering how far is it from here to, to Virginia City? Mr. Johnson? Sheriff? 100 miles. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Can I help you, sir? I want to make a deposit. A deposit? How much? $100,000. How much? $100,000. $100,000? Did I hear you right? Good day, Mrs. Evans. Good day, and thank you. $100,000. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Would you step inside? You're a stranger in town. Mm -hmm. How do you like it here? Not bad. I'd like to put $100,000 in your safe. Open the safe. What sort of joke is this? <gasps> Hands up and out of the way. Open the safe. But I can't. Open the safe. Get your hands behind you. Up against the wall. Oh, dear. What are they going to do? <laughs> Help! Professionals like us don't make those kind of mistakes.
I'm sorry about what happened at the bank. But listen, Donovan, there's something else we gotta do. You haven't forgotten about taking the boys over to McDonald's place, have you? You're right. <laughs> Shorty! Willie! Tulsa! I want you to take my regards to McDonald and his <laughs> pretty little woman. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, let's go. All right, all right. But first we got another stop. So make it fast. You all ready? Yeah, Right Hurry up. I don't want to lose any time. Let's go. Place your bets, folks. Place your bets. Said, put your hands up. <laughs> Get out of my way.
Let's go. Out of the way. Smart boy, aren't you? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You'll make it, Donovan. Don't worry, we're nearly there. We've got some medicine at the hideout. Come on. How about picking the men you're going to send to the McDonald place? No, you do it. Okay, boss. Well, I want my share, and I want it right now. Yeah, try and get it. I heard you. Look, Donovan, you give me my share. No, Nick. Shorty's right. Come on in. I'll give you your share. Does anybody else want their money?
Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> We're even. 26 to 26. <laughs> hey, you. What are you laughing at? What's so funny? It's not a very easy game. What about trying it? Hey, Bill? Yeah, let him try it. Did you ever try playing a game with eggs? I'm not sure if you can do it. What do you think? Sure he can. It ain't easy, because if your aim's no good and you don't hit the egg, you get splattered. Right? Right in the face. He's got a nice face, hasn't he, Willie? A mighty pleasant face. If you want to try it. Step into that circle. Into that circle. You'll see how it works. <laughs> now then, me and my friend here will toss up the eggs. You gotta hit him. They're fresh, ain't they? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Good shot, hey, Billy? One of the best. But he was kind of stupid to use up all his bullets, wasn't he? Hey, Billy? <laughs> because not even the finest gunman around here can't do nothing without any bullets in his gun. Just can't do a thing. Right, Billy? Nothing. 
You've had your fun, stranger. Now we'll play a game that we like. This one's a bit harder. Right, Billy? Yep, this game's a bit harder. <laughs> 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 no, we don't change. Sorry, we're going to try it again. <laughs> Too bad, stranger, this game is over. I got a different game this time. You want to try it? Play the game, stranger. <laughs> Play it good, stranger. It's the last game you're ever gonna play. <laughs> He's got a lot of courage, eh, yeah, Willie? Yeah. <laughs> That's enough out of you two. Shut up. Stranger, I'm going to let you have one last wish. What do you want? A drink of water. Now, the poor guy wants a drink of water. We can't deny him that. Get his canteen. Water. It's water. Yeah, water. And this water's the last you're gonna get. Have a nice long drink, stranger. <laughs> <laughs>
those three. Who were they? They were Donovan's men. They wanted money. But I couldn't pay. Uh, um. Did you hear them say where they were going? They said something about White City. Assure you they won't come back. I 
party, folks. How about a drink from my horse? Look at a beer. <laughs> Frankie, give a beer to the cripple. Thanks, Trudy. Here you go, Frankie. Well, thank you, Mr. Carson. offers you a beer, you better take it. They say beer is the best thing for keeping a face clean. don't want any gunfights. I just want to thank you. Follow me. Why didn't you? There'll be no gun battles in my saloon. In White City, we don't use guns. <laughs> Getting that man is not going to be easy. I want you all to understand that. And I want that man alive. Be sure you invite the sheriff along. I'm a man who likes to keep it legal. Get out of here. Hey! Tell my son to come up here. Wait, Lucas. I want to talk to you. Your father's busy anyway, talking to the men. What's your big hurry? Sit down. Frankie, a bottle of whiskey. What do you want? I'll tell you. You must have seen how badly scared your old man is. Here you go. No, I can't say that. You've seen it. When a stranger walks into town, Carson becomes frightened, no matter who he is. You're saying that because he's thrown you over. 
No. He's an old man. His love and days are through. He paid you enough, didn't he? So what's bothering you, Trudy? You got a lot of money out of my old man. Aren't you happy with things the way they are, sweetheart? No. Just 25 years ago, there was another girl who was in the same situation. So what about it? The girl had just become the mother of a beautiful son, and she disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to her. I couldn't be less interested. Yeah? You ought to be interested, because that young lady was your mother. And Carson wasn't quite certain that the child who was born was actually his. You'll even stoop to lying, won't you? It's a tragic situation. There you go, throwing yourself right in the middle of it. They're all ruthless men. They'll kill you. You can be safe here for a while, but you better not stay here. Just for tonight. You seem to be collecting crutches. It's a rotten town. There's no law. What about the sheriff? The sheriff? <laughs> He's on their payroll. Who's Trudy? Trudy? Just another bootlicker. She used to go around with Carson. The boss of this lousy place. White City. What do you want? I might have known. Can't you do anything without showing how stupid you are? Don't get so annoyed. I'll take care of that stranger. You think it's that easy? Just knowing how to use a gun, you think that'll solve everything? Why don't you try using your head for a change? You understand me? You'd better thank God that you're my son, because if you weren't, I'd already have gotten rid of you. And you can thank your brother Donovan. That's enough! Deliver this for me to the established place. Tell him to go ahead.
a stranger like you interfere with Lucas and that cripple? I like to get mixed up with people. Don't be silly. That kind of thinking doesn't go around here. What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't want to see you get killed. You know, you're not as tough as you pretend. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> Will you be here again tomorrow? I'll be here. But Charles, I still don't understand why your father didn't want to see us get married. Believe me, Trudy, he'll come to see us as soon as he can. He's very anxious to meet you. How'd it go? All right. You sleep well? I never sleep at all. Two of spades. Ace of clubs. That's a bad sign. Maybe Shorty was right. I'm the only one who can foretell the future. And I'll still be around to do it later. You. I picked you up out of the dust. You were nothing then. And you'd still be nothing. Not even the jails wanted you. Uh, I'm glad you're feeling better, Donovan. Yeah. Much better. Your concern is like the kiss of Judas. You're just like the rest. You want me dead. <laughs> but the man who's going to kill me hasn't been born yet.
Hey, Donovan. There's a visitor outside. <laughs> Hello, Uncle. I hope you weren't seriously wounded. <laughs> Give me the message. Here. Next time you won't be so damn lucky. The first time it went okay. The second they only wounded you. But the next... <laughs> that kind of talk I'll accept. Only from a man like your father. Not from fools like you. <laughs> what do you want? Donovan, drink this. It'll help you to feel better. No. Dear brother, these are the names of the men that still have to pay. Johnson, $3,000 Monday. Wheeler, $4,000 Tuesday. Cooper, $3,000 Saturday. Make sure they do it. See you soon. Your brother, Carson. for letting him die. He'll be dead in just a few days. He needs a doctor. The bullet hasn't been taken out yet. And nobody's gonna take it out. Get me, Nick? Just you and me? We'll be in charge of more cash than we can handle. Take it easy. Here, sit down. Does it hurt bad? Don't waste any more time. Nick, get the horses ready. We're, we're going to White City in one hour. Good morning, Carson. Morning. Have they found the stranger yet? Not yet. But the boys will find him. They'll bring him in any minute. <laughs> Tell me, Carson, what's he worth to you in dollars? Just what do you mean to say? You want the stranger. He can be in your hands tonight. The amount it'll cost is $500. Here are your five hundred dollars, Judy. You've really gotten pretty mercenary. The stranger will be staying in my room tonight. Like he did last night. <laughs> No luck. <laughs> we didn't find the stranger. We searched all over. <laughs> you searched all over. Is that so? And you say you're a man of the law. But, but what? A wagon load of last year's horse manure is worth more than the brains of all you put together. The man I want will be here tonight. This time we're going to get him.
Go to White City. See my brother. Tell him to go to Sullivan's and bring a doctor. Okay, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Take him downstairs to Carson. Okay. Lucas, I want him to talk. Who are you? What are you doing at White City? You men make a circle around him. Now I wish you'd talk while you had a chance. I'll be here soon, with a doctor. And I'll be well again. Oh. You two, make something to eat. When I'm well, I'm going to begin again. I'm going to form a new band. Only this time, I'm going to use real men. Stranger, maybe you'll tell us why this photograph is here. Carson! 
Carson, you'd better send a doctor to your brother. Do it at once or the man will be dead. Get Doc Ferguson, fast. You take this man down to the sheriff. I'll make him talk when I get back. Come on. Come on, you. Let's go. Sheriff, we brought you a drug. That's right, Sheriff. He was making a disturbance. Lock him up. When you came back from the caves, why didn't you tell me Donovan was wounded? What are you getting upset about? If my uncle dies, I'm ready to take over. You? You think you can take over from my brother? You? You're an imbecile. Nobody can take Donovan's place unless I say so. And you aren't related to Donovan anyway. <laughs> That's right. You're only a bastard, Lucas. And you've always behaved like a bastard, too. <laughs> Let him alone. You're a lousy fighter. And you really thought you could replace Donovan and take over the gang. Let's go, boys. I'm not wasting any more time here. Dr. Ferguson! Where is my brother? He's hiding out in the Sullivan place, off the county road. Ferguson! Yeah, what is it? Get your things. We're going out to the Sullivan place. My brother's been wounded. All right, I'm ready. Prepare the horses and make it fast. Here I am. That's something. Uh, Want to bet that girl there? Okay. Huh. All over, Tex. Good for you. Just a baby. A baby. Uh. Shut up. Thank you.
Sheriff, go. <laughs> He's already at the saloon. <laughs> Look, how about a little drink? Well, it belongs to the sheriff. But... <laughs> I found out you're a bounty killer. Hurry up and get ready. Town's in trouble. Maybe you can do something to clean up the mess. I know where Donovan is. He's at the Sullivan Farm out in the county road. You better hurry. to save his life.
What do you mean, too late? You killed him. Just a minute here, I'm... No, Carson. From now on, I'm taking your brother's place. Lucas. Why not? The band needs the young leader, not you. Carson! 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 What's the matter? That stranger they brought in is a bounty killer. He escaped. Come in. The sheriff says that the man we caught is a bounty killer and that he's after us. Come on. We're going back to White City. As far as this other problem goes, we'll set it among ourselves later. <laughs>
called Charlie. Charlie? I didn't know you knew Charlie. He was my son. You, Blake, the cripple. I think it's about time I revenge Charlie. But you, there's some mistake. You don't know what you're doing. I don't know anything. I know nothing about it. <laughs> now it's your turn, Blake. You're going to end up the same way Charlie did. <laughs> no, Blake, no! <laughs> Cowardly, get out and fight. This time I got you, Carson. <laughs> Stranger, come on out. I'm all alone. Show your face, or are you scared? Boy, where's your courage? Oh. 
Hey, Lucas. Come on out. Don't fight like the coward you are. Come out in the open. He had a loaded pistol. Yeah, that's him, Carson Donovan, the man who started it all. He was jealous of my son Charlie, and he killed him, helped by Trudy. Now my revenge is complete. Hmm. Take this, you'll be needing it. Thank you. So long. Goodbye. <laughs> 